today, the, the challenges the airport face is, is, is that they have a very difficult time understanding the big picture of what's happening. You have different roles in the airport working off silos of information, and it's overwhelming to bring it all together and, and uh, consume that. Um, there are many more sources of data today, and that's continuing to grow as the digitalization of the airport uh, matures. And with technologies like IoT, where everything in the airport has sensors and emitting data, it, it's, it's overwhelming. Some of the opportunities that the airport has to utilize that, that, that data is around uh, better situation awareness, um, what's happening all over the airport, um, but also being able to go back in time and understand what, what happened, what they did, and, and learn from those experiences. Um, but also with artificial intelligence, we can, we can now be more proactive because we can give them a, a view of what's coming and they can be more prepared on, uh, on what to do about it. Yeah, so to overcome some of these data challenges, we've been exploring a concept um, called Digital Twin, which is uh, something that came out of industrial manufacturing, and, and, and you see it's very mature in Formula One racing, where if given enough data, you can build a virtual version of a physical thing. So if you imagine the airport as a machine, and we can create virtual bags, people, aircraft, you can start to simulate how those things are going to flow before it happens and, and, um, and understand where, where points of congestions are, where, where, where your, your issues are, and, and be more, more proactive about recovery. Yeah, so this is the, the digital twin concept that we've been working in the lab. Um, and we've been partnering with um, LaGuardia to understand how this technology can help them visualize everything that's happening in the airport all together. Um, so the idea is just like a weather map is to be able to layer lots of different pieces of information um, in the context of where it's happening. So what you're seeing is a, a, a real-time view of the airport, the traffic flows, you see, you see the aircraft, and you can click on the aircraft and get a sense of what's happening. We can look at um, arrivals into the future. So this is a view of all the flights that are going to arrive in the next 120 minutes what's late, how many passengers are in there. And when you start to see clusters like this forming around um, specific concourses or piers, that tells them that they may need to dispatch additional staff to deal with the congestion or you know, be more diligent about cleaning, cleaning the bathrooms, uh, that, that, that sort of thing. Um, and, and the neat thing about the Digital Twin is um, that, that we can tap into many data sources um, and you can get a blown out view of the entire airport. So let's say there's a power outage and you can get a, in, in, one, in one view what, um, what kiosks and check-in counters and gates are operational, what elevators are working or not working, where your staff is, and, and that helps the, air, the, the, air, the airports recover much faster from, from these kinds of discoveries. The other thing that, that customers really, really like about this, this tool is that they can go back in time and see uh, all those views in the past and replay those and they can start to learn um, what, what happened, what they did about it, and improve, and, and even use it for training purposes for, for their staff. So now we have a, a window in time in the past that we can replay, and you can see what's happening, and you might see alerts or alarms that happened in the past where you can start to analyze the situation and drill into different views to understand how it all interconnects. In the lab, from a research perspective, you know, we're, we're still looking at how to create simulations so that um, you can then do what if analysis. What if I did something different? How would that impact the operations or how would that improve things? And then also the predictions to be able to, like a weather map, be able to predict what's coming in the future. And again, give them the ability to play what if scenarios um, to, to, um, um, to, to better optimize what, they, what they're going to do in the future.